marks the start of applications for the second round of PPP loans since the new Stimulus Act was signed into law on Monday. Applications for first-time business loans were accepted. Now, starting Wednesday, businesses who previously received a PPP loan are able to apply for the second round. KLBK's Olivia Whitehead spoke with Lubbock's Small Business Development Center on important information people should know this time around. With a new round of PPP loans comes new information along with it. It basically covers your payroll. And if you're self-employed, that means it covers yourself and it covers two and a half times your monthly salary. So if you take your average over the past year, multiply that two and a 2.5, that's how much you qualify for. For those applying a second time, there are new qualifications. You've had to use the first round and you have to show a 25% reduction in one quarter from 2020 versus 2019. And then there are other qualifications. And to help local businesses apply for the new round, the SBDC is holding a webinar on Wednesday. Idle Advance, we'll talk about the new laws related to that, how that that's now forgiven and not subtracted from your first round of PPP. In addition to that, some other tax changes that passed in this law. The last thing was there's some actual grants for businesses. Our information that we're receiving is coming, as, as Randy says, it, it is coming from the DC, from our folks in DC. So we're, we're pretty up to date on everything that is happening. Um, and that's why uh, we, we hope that people will understand that we are a go-to uh, for, for this. Lisa Stain, founder of Sharp Academy, has been working with the SBDC since the first round of loans. The Small Business Development Center has already been reaching out to us as soon as uh, the bill was passed so that we can start following the steps and watch for the information to be prepared ahead of time. Even as a nonprofit, they were to receive advice from the SBDC. We are eligible to apply this time because we followed the process exactly. And so we qualified for the maximum for our nonprofit, which was a great blessing. And then we also got all of our reports filed and it was approved in the application process to become a grant. Olivia Whitehead, KLBK News. Most of us are